treasury bonds, and mortgage-backed securities are the biggest conduits that I track and follow to understand where the market's going and understand how to get ahead of the best possible rate, or at least be prepared for when the stuff's gonna hit the fan. That being said, we're looking at a 10-year treasury bond right now, and the first thing that I want you guys to notice is this. Our market has been in a downtrend as far as mortgage bonds uh, over the last 30 years. 10-year treasury bond peaked in 1982, where in 1984, January of 1984, this little candle is called a shooting star, which essentially is a representation of a reversal. In 1984, do you know what rates were? They were 13%, Google it. I don't expect us to get that high, but I do anticipate us to see some dark days. Now I'll give you a worst case scenario. Worst case scenario would be somewhere around this 6.24% uh, for treasury bonds in 6.24%, the last time we were there, or at least when we were in that realm, was around the 2000s. The uh, early 2000s, uh, 2000, 2001, 2002, mortgage rates were sitting around 8%. Do I anticipate rates to get that high, or at least could they get that high? Absolutely, I absolutely think they could get that high. Uh, will they sustain and remain there? That is the big question. I don't think uh, our economy can, can withhold that. I, I would anticipate inflation to come down uh, over that time, but a lot can happen inside of 12 months. If uh, you know our, our job force, if we go into a full-blown recession, unemployment rates spike up for whatever reason, then that could actually drive rates back down. So there's other factors that can play into this, but purely on a technical perspective, if we hit the 6.24, we're definitely scratching 8%. As of right now, what I think is more realistic for us, it's this 3.98 barrier or treasury bonds. Uh, I, I think we're gonna have a, a small push up just to test that and possibly even push above that up to this 4.4% uh, area. Mind you, the market uh, peaked on this candle for the year at 4.3%. This is where we peaked at. So I would expect us to have a small wick to go a little bit above that and if mortgage rates um, do see that we're going to be somewhere around 7.25 7.375 keep in mind the market peaked at 7.125 percent when uh mortgage back uh, excuse me treasury bonds hit this realm so uh, there is room to increase above that you got to be on guard for that uh, that being said this is all contingent on when you plan on purchasing a home or investing in a home or utilizing a home mortgage uh, for your next major home purchase. If it's within 30 days, you'll always hear me say lock up front. So if you're starting a purchase and you're in close in 30 days, lock up front. We're not in a market where you can sit and wait and, and wait for that gamble to happen. Uh, now, if you have a little bit of time behind you and you can wait six months, uh, maybe even nine months, you know, best case scenario, uh, that I'm looking at, or I would need to retreat, uh, take that back to you. I wouldn't say best case scenario. One of the scenarios that I'm projecting is by the end of Q1, towards the, the beginning of the summer, uh, I would anticipate that we touch this 3.2% area. Rates will be under 6%, hovering right around about 5.75, 5.625, best case scenario. Now, there is room for rates to dip a little bit lower than that and come down to this 2.74% area. And that's where I would anticipate uh, mortgage rates would be under 5%, just under 5%, like 4.875, 4.99. Um, some lenders will price you right at 5%. And the absolute, like, holy cow, rates made an absolute uh, 180 on us, is if we come down to this 2.19% for treasury bonds, I would anticipate mortgage rates to be around 4.5%, uh, some of them even testing that 4.25% area. And, and vice versa, just like I said before, up here at the 6.24, if mortgage, uh, treasury bonds, excuse me, treasury bonds get up to here, mortgage rates won't sit at 8% for a very long time. And that's why it's important to time it because if you're right in the middle of a home purchase and you're supposed to be closing in the next 30 days and treasury bonds spike up that high, you kind of have no choice but to lock it because you're not gonna delay your closing waiting for rates to come back down. 
and like I said before, vice versa. If, if treasure bonds come down this low, it's not gonna be for a long time. It's probably just gonna be a touch and go. And so the middle of the ground area is right over here. It's the 3.25% um, area where mortgage rates are gonna be just under 6%. 5.625, 5.875. So if you ever come across that and you're remembering this video and you see that rate, take it, lock it, secure it. If you're, if you took a mortgage out inside of 2022 and you're sitting at 6%, 7%, 8%, whatever it is, and you come across this, take it. It's not an opportunity for you to sit and gamble uh, and waiting and hoping like, hey, Michael said that it could get a little bit better. It can get under 5%. Well, what if it doesn't? What if I'm 100% wrong about that? right and so this is a safe and more realistic area for rates to get to so hopefully that information serves you guys well if you have any questions as far as mortgage rates where they're going uh, what's the trend of them continue to follow my stories i'll be providing this information all throughout the course of the year and maybe even some more higher uh, level information such as technicals just like this and i'll be more than happy to teach you the technicals so if you wanted to peruse this information on your own do your own research i'm happy to assist you i'm a total nerd when it comes to this stuff and that's why i enjoy uh, talking about it other than that have a great start to your year i'll be here to help you just let me know bye now